That's the point of no return. Pyrotechnics on set. If you guys tase me against my will, I will throw kicks. Yeah. That is an actual problem. Well, I, something's gonna happen to me. I don't know what. I don't know what's gonna happen, man. Something. So everyone's giving me these smiles and these wigs. I like surprises, but Ren said it's unfortunate because it has to happen. And I don't know what that means. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> It's very true that it's, it, kind of, it, it does have to happen. What'd you get from your car? You said you needed something from his car. You didn't get anything from his car. I did. It's in my pocket. Man, don't tase me, dude. If you oh, guys speaking of tasing, what? yeah, we just saw a, a taser salesman on Santa Fe. Are you serious? He was showing some millennials how to tase. If you guys tase me against my will, I will throw kicks. I think it's admirable, Clint, that you would think so highly of us. Play such a prank on you as to tase you yeah, that's in a little the bit. middle of a work day. <laughs> <laughs> I trust Jared. Jared said it'll be fine, so I, it's gonna be okay. We're going to Minnesota next week, uh -huh. and we have to ship our boards there ahead of time. Uh -huh. And that time is now. We have to take apart the one wheels, and we have to remove the battery. That's what this is all about? Let me put it this way. One wheeling equals freedom, meaning you're not gonna have freedom until Tuesday of next week. Just pack up the boards, dude. I don't know. We have to take them apart. Hey, I take this we're as going, a... We're going to void the warranty. Oh. This How much do they cost? A lot. So... I'm willing to take the risk. Well, it's because we're trying to fly these things on an airplane and airlines have regulations against certain battery sizes. So the limit for an airline is 160 watt hours for a battery. Between 100 and 160, it depends on the airline. The original one wheels had like 135 watt hours. These guys have 324 watt hours. Well, so it's a big battery. That leaves us with a dilemma. We want to be able to ride these things in Minnesota. So what our plan is and what Nico actually did yesterday, he just removed his battery and he shipped just the battery there, and then checked the one wheel into his baggage to fly with it. Morning. Morning. Setting up for a little dry ice gags. I mean, Jared, are trying not to burn ourselves. To be honest, probably won't be used, but Anigo wants to do as much practical here as possible, so my instinct tells me it's gonna end up being VFX. We'll see how it goes. Cold fingies. The dry ice is frozen carbon dioxide. Mm so cold that it skips the stage from solid and goes right into a gas, which is called sublination. And that's why it looks so cool. It's very, very cold, it's effective, uh, and it's fun. And if we put water in this bottle and let it start sublinating inside, it would eventually explode, which we may or may not do at the end of the day today. <laughs> Deniability, we may or may not be doing this. I didn't hear anything. Oh, no. Put that down. Like, red, blah, blah, blah. You know, like, let's put this out. Nico's trying to make sure we get everything as it's written on the page right now, but everyone's also trying to get their two cents in and on how it can be better and changed. So it's a push and pull on that. I'm just kind of sitting off to the side because I like lasers. Drive it towards your car. Maybe, and that's when Sam is like, gets serious. And it's like, it's we're your having car. fun still. Alpha's tough decisions. This is like us, like, thinking about this as an actor. Utilize, utilize this. Don't ignore it. And then, and then, like, hope that. Nothing messes up yeah, and then that's, start. That, that's great, that's great. But then I need you to focus on the acting in your character. We, which, honestly, the entire, which is why. Which is what, if that's exactly what we're doing. The point this is, this is yes. literally a discussion about character. If you, have, if you have your suggestions, that's great. I would love to hear them, but let's go through the process. If we don't follow the process, then we end up making mistakes. It's going all right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're all filmmakers. Um, so everybody has their contributions. But it can be hard to direct until the idea is out there and you can see it and you can adjust it. And everybody's in, it, in their character and they have thoughts on what makes their character better, what makes it flow as an actor, which is all great. But I gotta make sure that we follow a procedure so that I can see the scene that I've written. We can make sure there's no misunderstandings about the beats I've had on the paper and then make adjustments. I just wanna make sure that we are doing it in the proper order. Talked about it so much, but we still haven't ran it. Can we just ran it how we were initially planning on it? See? Okay, we gotta do it off the paper the very yeah. first time. I'm down to change it. Uh, seriously, I do like all the suggestions, but you guys just gotta give me the one version. All right, we will do it for you, Nico. Thank you. Nico's way. Let's do it. Bullseye! Clint, hit it, Ren. Stop it. Wow. It's headed towards your car. Good God. Oh, shit. 
<laughs> Everyone, piggyback right. <laughs> Come on, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Like you were saying earlier, you, you get all the same gags, literally the same pacing, the same everything, except the character motivations to do okay. what we're doing makes way more sense. Guys, let's just run it. Let's just literally run it. If you are trying to stop the laser now before anything bad is happening, it jumps the gun on the second half of the scene. It needs to be fun in games, not stop fun in games. That's fine. Well, let me pour the water and I won't say stop the laser. I'll say, whoa, this is crazy, Ren. Because me running like, do it, do it, do it, me running and causing mischief, goes exact opposite of what I was doing in the beginning. Yeah, it's just consistent character. The ideas there, it's the same, characters. I understand, consistent characters, thank you, yes, good. Yeah. But like, let's run right. through it. But the, the like, thing with the we're thing is- about it so much. Sam, you can't, you got, we're overanalyzing it. We gotta feel it out. We shouldn't be having this conversation by describing how we think it should go. Ren, Clint, myself, we should play this out, and if it feels right or feels like something's working, we'll know. And if it feels like this, we'll move on. Let's just do it, though. Standing around talking about it isn't right. the best choice. I'm willing to try it your way to see how it is. But Sam, I need yes, your promise. You. If we try it and I don't go with it, they will still willingly commit to what I want to do. Yes, but but like okay. let let us experiment a little bit here. Oh, dude. Oh, Sam, oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> no, I get what you guys are going for. Interrupting your moment seems like that that functions, but. All right, slow it down, guys. Give me one more version like you guys were doing. Ren, I, I have a feeling that you don't really, you're not respecting this laser. I think we should just put it out before it gets out of hand. I think that's probably the best idea right now. Whoa, whoa, Sam! I appreciate this new direction. You guys want to take it? Yeah, take it back to what's on page. Okay. Let's do it, guys. All right, let's do a rehearsal here. Can someone make that Yo, I'm Tom Cruise thing into a ringtone and put it on our subreddit? That'd be great, thank you. Why are we going to Minnesota? Well, first and foremost, we're gonna be doing some scouting. And in addition to that, being that Sam, Nico, and myself are all from there, we wanted to show the town after the rest of the guys and have them check out the sights and sounds. They're really, really well engineered. They're built like tanks. And they do not like us making videos about taking them apart. They've explicitly told me that, but you know what? I bought this thing at full price. I can do what I want to with it. I put some extra hot glue in here to seal it from water. I'm gonna remove my front foot pads with that little way. Now to remove the bumper, I'm gonna get at the screw. Th this, is, this is great because this serves, on top of a bumper, this serves as protection against the bottom of the board here. Very cool. It's built yeah. in. There's one motor wire. We gotta make sure to keep track of all the screws we're taking out. Okay, there's one. There. It's actually kind of a hard part here trying to remove this. It's just like frail. Now, is this like taking apart an iPhone? In terms of um, how many parts there are and how difficult it would be to take apart an iPhone, it's good luck getting an iPhone back together in the same way. I've done it. I've done it. I've taken apart an entire iPhone and I put it back together and it still works. Really? Jenna dropped her phone and cracked the screen, so we just bought a replacement screen. And I took it apart, placed it. It wasn't that hard. Did you use a microscope? There we go. Got it. Oh, you popped it. I did break it. That's okay. I probably wasn't pressing down hard enough on this thing. Well, I got the motor out. So now we gotta get inside of here and remove the battery. Pyrotechnics on set. All right, safety hey, meeting, guys. We have <laughs> explosive Might devices, like, taping some so rods. we just need to. We all gotta watch it. out. Just, just try to hold it. Very <laughs> dangerous. Uh, it's hot. We're going hot. Quick safety meeting. Safety meeting. Yeah, bring it in for a. Bring it in. Safety meeting. Careful, 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 careful. Come on, bring it we're in. Gonna, we're gonna be doing it with VFX. I doubt this will be enough to completely supplement. Bring it I think in, we boys. Try it with it and, and VFX. We're really trying to stay safe. Okay. Hey, hey, hustle up! Bring it in. Bring it in. Come on, guys. Bring it in. Come on. Get to the day here, as I predicted a little earlier. Try Eyes bit is not playing, so we're gonna have to just add another VFX shot to the list. Some of you may know. I know Nick knows, and I know because we're both Eagle Scouts. American flags flying up there. You see there's a little solar panel too. Solar panel's charging a battery. It's gonna go to that light, it's probably on a sensor. So at night, they don't have to bring the flag down. According to the flag code, at night you bring it down. But, if you have a light on it, you do not have to do that. So they have a little battery powered light. 
What? Shine a light There's on a the American flag all night. There's a flag code that basically says if you don't illuminate it, it has to come down. It. Right, U.S. flag code. You take it unless it's made of a material that can withstand weather. You need to take it down in a storm. That one's probably nylon. That's probably fine. And it rarely rains. And then uh, at night, if it's not illuminated, you got to bring it down. It's not a law. People like you know people get say, all people on their porches don't do that. Kind of people thing. get all you know the patriot people are like, oh, you're disrespecting the flag. It's against the law. It's not a law. It's not a law. It's flag code. It's a sign of respect, but also, you know, using the flag for different purposes is also speech, and that's protected under the First Amendment, which is more patriotic than just what you do with the flag. So, let's light up the flag and follow the code for the city. Awesome. What you want to do with the flag, that's on you. Oh, oh there you are. Hey, guess what? This is one of my favorite segments. This is where I get to use a sponsored bit to talk about a book that I really enjoyed. Come with me. Let's check it out together. I found that one of my favorite kinds of stories is when a character repeats time. And I'm not talking about time travel. Think of Groundhog's Day. In that movie, Bill Murray wakes up every morning to discover that he is repeating his previous day. Even better, check out Edge of Tomorrow. And I mean, live, die, repeat. Tom Cruise at his finest. In that movie, he repeats his previous day by dying. Well, what if instead of repeating your previous day, you repeat your entire life? That is the premise of the book that I want to recommend to you today called The First 15 Lives of Harry August. Written by Claire North, this book follows our protagonist, Harry August. He is born in World War I, grows up, leads a full life, but then dies of cancer in the 1980s. Except instead of going on to some sort of afterlife, he's born again back in the early 1900s. But this time, he remembers everything. That's right, all of his memories have returned to him from his previous life. And at first he doesn't take it very well, so he ends up in an insane asylum. Although the second time he dies, he discovers that there's a whole community of people who repeat their lives over and over and over, retaining their memories as they do so. Some people are even thousands of years old as they repeat their lives again and again. But what makes Harry different is that his memory is perfect. North tells this story in an interesting way because she actually bounces around between the various lives that Harry lives. In fact, the book opens with him on the deathbed of his 11th life. And that's when a young girl who can also repeat her life shows up to deliver a message that the world is ending. And that is something that I find particularly interesting because they can send messages through time. So this girl, as a child, delivers a message to Harry on his deathbed so that when he dies and is born again, he can do the same thing to someone else on their deathbed. I really found the philosophy in this whole book quite fascinating because it really deals with all the trials and tribulations and all the implications of having your life repeated over and over again. There's a lot of great things that come with that, but also a lot of bad things too. And I love how this book explores that. And you can get this book for free when you try Audible for 30 days by going to audible.com slash corridor crew or even texting corridor crew, one word, to 500 500. Oh yeah, speaking of which, Audible has what are called Audible Originals and they're just exclusive titles that they fund and push out on their own. And they're pretty interesting. One of them is called The Singularity Trap. I recommend that one. I have driven over 13,000 miles in the last five months and Audible has helped me through that time. If you want to check this out, you can get those books for free by signing up for a 30-day trial by going to audible.com slash corridor crew or texting. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Texting Corridor Crew to 500, 500. Do it. You can get a free book. It's great. <laughs> oh, this is this is the the Craft and Ride rear foot pad, by the way. It's concave. It gives you extra grip when you're riding, and it also relieves foot stress or the bonky toe, as we call it. Uh, we got from Craft and Ride. They make great one wheel accessories. I got the side of that, I didn't get the glass. Hey, we're good. Oh man. I am probably doing this incorrectly. Yep, you can see, there, there it is, it broke right there. But it is gonna come out now, so. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Two more screws and they're underneath the sticker here. That says warranty void if removed. Oh, that's the point of no return. That's the point of no return. Now it should be able to slide right out. Is 
It's one of my favorite movies, Jarrett. What movie? Spaceballs. Oh, never seen it. I don't think this is gonna happen. I don't think it's gonna happen because this screw just spins free. I'm gonna have to ship it. The whole, the thing. whole thing. The whole thing. Which could be very expensive. Yeah, 20 pounds? 30. <laughs> what makes no sense to me is if I'm gonna ship this whole thing, they'd put it in an airplane. Because, I mean, exploding batteries is. Yeah, obviously not a good thing. Yes, but there's never been a single case of a one-wheel battery exploding, even the new XR ones. They're, yeah. they're safe. Thank you. I'm just gonna have to ship this whole thing. Good point. That would suck if that's the case. Well, Clint, also think about this. Whatever the cost is to ship that to Minnesota, uh -huh. you're gonna pay double. To get it back. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. That is an actual problem. Yeah. How much is it gonna cost? Probably like 150, um, it's not worth it dude, at that point. If you want it there by Monday morning. Not worth. Yeah, I might leave it behind. Uh, but Clint, what about us riding together? It's tough. Dude, that's so crazy that... One wheeling equals freedom. It's not, no, it's not gonna happen. All hope is lost. I thought I could, I thought I could. Might as well give you those push-ups now. <clears throat> All right, I can't bring my one wheel to Minnesota. My only hope is to ask Cliff to borrow his because he has a V1 and they'll actually let you fly with the V1. Um, luckily, Cliff is my roommate, um, so. Hopefully, he'll be chill with it. Yo, what up, son? Yo, dude, I got a, I got a favor to ask you, man. What up, dude? So, um, I was unable to open up my XR and take out the battery to bring to Minnesota, so I was wondering if possibly I'd be able to trade one wheels with you. Because I could fly with the V1 with the battery, but I can't with the XR. Yeah, that's cool, man. That's chill? Yeah. Like, if I if I break it, or yeah, if, if I bust it, like... If there's anyone I trust with the one wheel, it's a son. Thanks. Another son. boardsman. Thanks, son. Yeah. We get to ride in Minnesota. <laughs> Boom! It's on Cliff's wheel, so I'll have a board in Minnesota. Yes! And then we'll just play hack back when we're charging. Oh my god, dude, it's great. Thanks a lot, man.